When I've told my friends in the past about over-the-air TV, most had either never heard of it before or thought what I was doing was illegal. They had no idea what free over-the-air broadcasts are, let alone what the public airwaves are. Instead of utilizing the public airwaves to acquire a legal copy of, say, their local NFL game, many people I know went alternative routes, like using Aereo or Lowcast, or accessing live streams through links on Reddit. What's astonishing is at its peak, Lowcast had 2.3 million users on their platform. And yet, after broadcasters and networks took legal action against Lowcast and others, they never provided a legal alternative. Instead of just squashing every service that pops up, broadcasters and networks should take a step back and go to the root of the issue. Why are so many people using these services in the first place. If so many consumers are going against the grain of paying for traditional TV services or using an antenna, then something is wrong. Consumers have proven time and time again that price and convenience are what they value the most. What did all of these services have in common? They were all free or incredibly reduced cost, and they were available at the convenience of streaming. For those that didn't know about over-the-air TV, TV, for those that didn't want to go through the hassle of setting up an antenna, for those who thought an antenna wouldn't work in their area, for those that had a bad experience with over-the-air TV in the past, for those that couldn't afford or didn't want to pay for cable or satellite services, for those that liked the convenience of simply launching an app, they would turn to services like these. Broadcasters should be making their own version of Lowcast, but not in the way that you might think. Broadcasters have an obligation to serve the public without an internet connection. This means they should use their over-the-air signals as the delivery method for their content to streaming apps, rather than using the internet. ATSE 3.0 at its root is an incredible technology that has the potential to do this. ATSE 3.0 has the ability to broadcast directly to devices without the need for external antennas. Since ATSE 3.0 is IP-based, data broadcast over the air could flow seamlessly into an app. This means a low-cast equivalent service made by the broadcasters could function identically to any other streaming service that had provided access to local channels in the past. Doing this correctly would not just mimic the experience, the experience would be better. Over-the-air broadcasts have advantages over the internet that cannot be dismissed. The inherent nature of broadcasts means that no matter how many people are using the service at a given time, there will never be any capacity issues or buffering. Over-the-air broadcasts are also completely wireless, something that the internet is not. Over-the-air broadcasts inherently travel to areas that would never receive terrestrial internet services due to there simply being a lack of monetary incentives. Over-the-air broadcasts offer unparalleled data privacy since there's literally no return path. Additionally, over-the-air broadcasts are hands down the cheapest way to send internet protocol data out to the public, which trickles down to the consumer level. It's for these reasons why I strongly disagree with individuals who believe that the remaining public airwaves should be sold to cellular companies and that broadcasters should stream their content over the internet instead. Although all of this is possible at a technical level, actually implementing this is more difficult. In order for this to work, devices would need to have built-in ATSC 3.0 chips using the device's built-in antennas. This is one of ATSC 3.0's biggest hurdles and is 5G broadcasts single most important advantage over ATSC 3.0. All it would take is a software for update and every 5G smartphone in America would be able to pick up UHF TV stations using 5G broadcast. This is why 5G broadcast is more enticing for smartphone manufacturers and for some broadcasters. Additionally, broadcasts would need to be sent with a lower modulation and code rate and or be sent using a single frequency network. The argument about not having enough data capacity in low modulation and code rate transmissions is preposterous given a ATSE 3.0's inclusion of MIMO and layer division multiplexing, as well as with general advancements in coding efficiency. If broadcasters don't go this route, we're the only way to watch their 
over-the-air content is through an external antenna and is not as seamless as streaming, their ability to meaningfully serve the public will erode substantially, especially with people my age and younger. To summarize, I believe broadcasters should create their own version of Lowcast that is powered by ATSC 3.0. This way, local broadcasts would be so accessible that the alternative, which is piracy, would just simply be less convenient. These are the public airwaves after all. The content on the public airwaves should be as accessible as possible. In the next decade, unless something drastic happens, the amount of people with cable TV will be so insignificant that broadcast retransmission revenue accrued by broadcasters will be virtually zero. If the main purpose for full-powered broadcasters to even broadcast using the public airwaves in the first place is for guaranteed retransmission revenue, what purpose do broadcasters have to continue to provide over-the-air coverage of TV channels without their coveted retransmission revenue? Broadcasters should realize that they are operating on the public airwaves. If a given broadcaster isn't on board for continuing to broadcast without retransmission revenue, they should either modernize their business model or give up their licenses and give them to broadcasters that actually care about serving the public. I believe sharing these topics are incredibly important. That being said, I'm the only YouTube channel discussing many of these technical topics. If you'd like to support an independent creator like myself, consider joining my Patreon or channel membership. Thank you to those already supporting. If you like this video, consider subscribing and liking the video. Follow Western New York Over the Air on Instagram, Twitter, and threads at WNY Over the Air. Like Western New York Over the Air on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash WNY Over the Air. Support the channel on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash WNY Over the Air. And check out WNYOverTheAir.com for live band scans, cord cutting tips, and much more.